Good morning. Uh, how do you feel about being a subject I chose for this project? <sighs> how do I feel? I feel honored. I really do. Because out of everyone you could have picked, you said, I'm going to pick my roommate. Because I'm very chaotic, and you said, I'm going to pick you. So I felt I'm surprised out of everything, but like I'm very honored. I was born in Royal Oak, Michigan, which is, I think it's about like right here. Because I'm from right here, and I don't think my parents would travel that far just to pop me out. So, so my side hobby is one of my passions. Um, I learned how to knit recently over spring break because my mom and I were in Aldi's and I was like, oh, they have a knitting kit for $10. And I was like, mom, you should get this for me. And she was like, okay, I'll get this for you. And I was in my room just knitting and I was like, oh, this is really fun. This is really relaxing. So I learned how to knit and I started blowing money on knitting supplies like needles and yarn and stuff. So this one day while I was knitting, I was like, oh, why do I knit hats for the homeless? So that's something I'm working on now. I've fallen kind of behind because my goal is to knit 10 hats and I only have about five. So I'm kind of, you know, the semester has really kicked my butt. But hopefully by next year I can really get into it. But my goal is to try to give people warmth throughout the winter because it gets bad like today was like it went from like 40 degrees to like 13 and like people have to sleep outside with that and I know hats can only do so much but it's still like the thought that counts so what ultimately made you choose to want to be an immigration lawyer my thing with my career path is the values that I was brought up with I was always taught to treat people with the same kind of like respect that I'd want with myself. And what I've noticed, especially growing up, is that immigrants don't have that luxury from Americans. And it's sad to say, especially because my family immigrated from Spain a couple generations ago, so it hits like really close to home and I would want someone with the same intentions that I do that would want to go down this path. So my thing is I want to help people that don't really have a voice be able to like be here and feel like at home. Because America is, the only Americans that are actually Americans are Native Americans. Not the people that are like, oh I'm an American. Like you have that aspect, but that's the capitalism American. You know what I mean? And we our country was built off of immigrants and we lost that touch and i'd want to help people come here because that's what they want they want to feel safe in a country where we were built off of that sense of people coming here to try to make it improve so what has been your biggest obstacle in life Ooh, my biggest obstacle in life is fear of failure um, I'm a first generation student, so on my dad's side, no one has ever went to college or thought about college. And on my mom's side, only one of my cousins have went, and it took her about five years. And even then, it was so, it was so hard since she was like the first girl in the family to go. So I've just always, in the back of my head, like, you can't fail, you can't mess us, they like, can't mess us up, and that's just... One of my biggest downfalls has been that because it just gets in the way. Cause I have always been a good student. Like my first year of high school, I got my academic letter. I did really good, but there would just be nights where I'd be doing homework and it wasn't hard or anything. But I would just have these mental breakdowns of being like, oh, you're gonna mess this up. Like you can mess it up this way, this way, this way, and I would just freak out. And like, it's happened a couple times this semester, and like, I, it's just one of my biggest things that I can't get rid of. But I feel like a lot of people have that, so like, I don't feel alone, but like, even then, a lot of people have that. What impact do you want to make on the world? <sighs> That's a hard question. Um, like I mentioned before, I was raised with the intentions of treating everyone with the same respect as others. And even with that, I have family who are seen as minorities. And 
which this plays in also like the career path I want to go into because if I'm not an immigration lawyer I want to focus on civil liberties and the biggest impact I want to make in the world is to change the world um, in that sense of reminding people that there's no supreme race or no one's better than the next that just because you're even when I say this is kind of like contradicting what I just said but even though you were raised a certain way doesn't mean that's the end all be all so saying like oh no we're better than this race because of this this and this like that's not true in any way shape or form everyone starts off the same just because history has shown oh well this race took over this race and this happened and this happened doesn't mean that was the right thing that should have happened so i just the biggest impact i want to do is just to change that ideology and like change everyone's like moral belief on that just to like get everyone the same like level playing field like hey we should all be good human beings so what is one thing you want to do slash experience before you die Ooh. This is gonna sound very cliche. Ooh. Um, something that I really wanna experience before I die. I mean, a sense of love. Because, like, I look up to my parents so much for this kind of, like, topic. But, like, my mom and my dad met my mom was 13 and my dad was, like, 14. And they started dating and, like, they were together ever since. And then, like, my dad passed away a couple years ago. But like, the way that they were, it was just like, they were just connected. And like, I could see that like growing up, that like they always built each other up and they always took care of each other. And it was just like a nice thing to see. Cause I know a lot of not like, not a lot of kids have that like, you know, that luck with having their parents be like that. And even now seeing like my mom like without my dad, it's like evident to see that like she really like relied on him. So like in a sense, I want to experience like true love to where I'm able to like be myself fully and like able to like like exuberate, is that the word? Like to sh give off like my real natural energy because I feel like not a lot of people are able to do that by themselves. But just to like have a sense of like a different form of happiness, but then again not be so dependent on someone else. But just to have that like sense of like, I have this, you know, before I die. I think I'd want that, even though it's very cliche, but yeah.